The Society of Physics students uh, is 4,000 kids at 700 campuses around the U.S. and a few places around the world that study physics. And we get them together in one place every four years. Here we're focusing on connecting worlds between uh, science and the public, between academia and industry, using technology, and connecting different diverse groups of people. SPS is a student organization. Uh, we really like to think of it as a professional society of, of physics students and students who are interested in physics. And Sigma Pi Sigma within SPS is an honor society which recognizes scholarship among the members of SPS. The honor society portion of SPS Sigma Pi Sigma uh, is the oldest part of the organization and the most uh, traditional part. Uh, it really provides uh, students who have demonstrated the ability to do physics, a real tangible evidence of those skills. We have chapters who are being chapter reporters. This is a, an opportunity that they have to interview some of the speakers. What it entails is reporting on our findings from the entire conference. I mean, yesterday we got to go on a special tour of NASA. We got to tour some special labs they have there. So we got to see what some of the scientists were doing and, and you know, in specifics, and we got to speak on them one-on-one -on -one if we wanted to. This Congress is entirely organized by students. They do all the organization work and including inviting people they really want to hear from. They wanted to hear, being this close to Kennedy Space Center, from one of the astronauts and they picked probably one of the most fascinating. As you get to orbit, you open the payload bay doors. Inside of the payload bay is all these, you know, hundred million dollar scientific instruments that people have spent years building. The astronaut that spoke last night was just unbelievably amazing. The moment that he spoke, I just kind of felt something resonate within me that just told me, no, you got to stay and you got to listen to all of it. Learning about how he was initially wanting to be a mathematician, but you know, completely changed. And, you know, it's, it gives us a little hope on, you know, we don't have to stick to one thing to, to be successful. I've been given the incredible honor this morning of introducing someone that really doesn't need an introduction. I think we all know him very well. We are very pleased to have Mr. Dyson here today to share with us his perspectives on the revolutions that have shaped modern life. I think the big challenge for physics in the next 50 years of the new lifetimes is building tools for other people to use. It's a, it's a great game to be in, and so you can actually lead the revolutions in other fields. Last night I saw Freeman Dyson coming out of the event and I stopped him to see if he'd talk to me for a little bit. I had a question I wanted to ask him and it just seemed like an incredible opportunity that I wouldn't have anywhere else. So the philosophy of the Congress has always been over the last few times that we uh, have workshops where we have hands-on activities, minds-on activities, so we can really uh, engage the participants. The physical education in particular has shown that hands-on, minds-on activities sort of double the retention of subject matter compared to lecture-driven type education. I'm a former president of Sigma Pi Sigma, so our students participate in the national programs. They get scholarships. They go to the International Physics Conference. They get money for outreach programs. I didn't really understand the benefits until I really became part of SPS, not just membership-wise, but um, actively in the club. It gives them a, a community, a community to be directly related to, and allows them to, to feel good about being in physics. Being a part of a group that supports students in physics. We emphasize research. We think every undergrad should do research. 
However, there's also scientific citizenship. Uh, another thing um, SBS does is it gives them a free copy of Physics Today, which is the, the magazine, it's the, it's the hot magazine of our, of our community. I also didn't realize that we could get kits for outreach activities. But they also get to be members, uh, join a member society, like the American Physical Society, Optical Society of America, American Association of Physics Teachers, uh, and they get to gain from what those organizations have to offer as well in terms of developing professionalism uh, as future scientists. It's really, really important to support our next generation of physicists. We've got a host of problems in the world, and our young physicists are going to be the ones to solve them. They're our future, and so we're here to support them. When a student comes to SPS Sigma Pi Sigma Congress, they get a chance to meet people that they wouldn't necessarily meet in their everyday school life. It's a fabulous opportunity to network with professionals, with other students. It's just been really cool to meet people and see that all these people from all over the place are excited about the same things I am. Yes. A small peer group that I'm around, Tuskegee, it's only 4,000 students, you know, 30 of them physics majors. But here, there's 800 other physics majors that share the same interests as I do. Being with all these people here is, is a lot of fun because everyone is so excited about physics. To have this chance to kind of look up and look around me and see all these other physicists, um, it's really nice. It, it kind of connects me to the whole world, like the universe. Physics always talks about the natural world and everything including it, so I just think that we should use that theory and bring it all together. We are connected. We are connected now more than ever than before. Than ever before. At every level. At every level. As physicists, scientists, and as humans. We must, must choose, choose to forge the links, forge the links science. between science and society. Science plays a key role in a connected world. We must, we must choose, choose to bring, to bring physics, physics to all. To all.